Thanks for watching the video on how to use a pen tool in Illustrator. And if you haven't, click on the above to view it. There will be times where you need to get the measurements of an object. There are several ways of getting the dimensions. Hi, my name is Michael Chow, and in today's tutorial, we will learn how to measure in Illustrator. You can change the measurements in your Illustrator preferences. There is an easier way that I would show later. Let's open a couple of panels so you could get your dimensions. Info and Transform. Go to Window and select Info and then also Window and Transform. If you use the selection tool, the black arrow, and select the object, you will see the dimension in the Info and Transform panels. Change the size and the numbers change. I am currently working in pixels and I want to change my measurements in either inches, centimeters, or points. At the beginning of the video, I mentioned we could change our size in preferences. Instead, we can change this quickly in rulers. The keyboard shortcuts to turn on rulers in your document Click on Command R for the Mac or Control R for the PC. Or for those who like menus, go to View, Rulers, Show Rulers. Place your mouse anywhere in the roots, either at the top or at the side of the rulers. Right click on your mouse to change the measurements. For those who use a laptop, use two fingers on the trackpad, position your cursor in the rulers, and hold down a second or two to see the sizes come up. In Illustrator, there is a measure tool that we can also use too. Maybe you want to see the dimensions of the angle of a box, or perhaps you want to know the amount of space between the two objects. Grab the measure tool in the toolbox at the side. The icon will look like an upside down E or a cone. With the first click, click and drag and stop at the end point. The information will show in the info box. Select the object that you want to measure or the distance that needs measuring. If you drag your mouse from left to right or top to bottom, the outcome will be a positive number. Do the opposite and it will be a negative number. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please like it or share it. And also tell people about it.